Hello, welcome to Tech Tidbits. My name is Brandon, and today I'll be teaching you how to convert from bits to bytes. Bytes to bits, kilobits, kilobytes, and briefly, briefly we'll be touching on um, binary numbering and counting in binary, just to give you a basic understanding of it. Okay, so basically a bit is a one or a zero. A byte is eight ones or zeros. And we're done. Okay, no, I'm kidding. There's a mo little bit more to it than that. Um, basically, a bit is one or a zero. A byte, you need to understand a little bit more so you can understand exactly what quantities that we're working on. If you were to open up Notepad, and I have Notepad over here for us. Let me pull that over real quick. If you were to just open up Notepad and type in a single character, that is a byte. That is eight bits of information. So if I type in another character, that is two bytes of information. So that is um, 16 bits, or as I like to call it, Sega Genesis. Um, no, that's a joke of mine. Um, okay, so for every character you type, that is basically eight, by eight bits of data. Um, give you an idea of what it would look like if I was to type um, a letter, this is just hypothetically speaking, to the computer, to you, you might see the letter O, but to the computer, the computer might see the 01101110. So basically, eight ones and zeros is how the computer interprets it, that. Now, um, I guarantee you that's probably not the binary equivalent for O, but I just want to give you a basic understanding. So every time that you're typing information into a document, every letter you type is one character. So if you type a character, you'll get a string of binary for the computer. You type another one, you get another one, you type another one, you get another one. Okay, so a kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. So if you were to type a page with no margins and no editing, and that page had 1,024 bytes of information, that would be um, a kilobyte. So you can think of that like if you were to have this going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever until you had 1,024 strings of binary, that would be, to a computer, it would be a kilobyte or 1,024 characters. Now, you may be wondering where 1,024, because lots of times when people think kilo, they want to think 100 or 1,000. Where is this 24 coming from? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, the 24 basically is coming from the binary numbering system. The binary numbering system um, starts at one, going from your right to your left, and doubles each subsequent number. So if I was to type one, and this will be going from, left to right, from right to left, because that's the way binary works, but I'm just going to write it out for you so you can actually see it. If I was type 1, the next number in the series would be 2. The next number in binary would be 4. The next number, 8. Then 16, followed by 32. Then 64. Then, of course, what's next? 128. Good. After 128, you would get 256. That's a familiar number if you guys were back around when I was <laughs> making me seem old 256 um, after 256 our next number in the series is going to be 512 and after 512 we get our familiar 1024 so that's where the number comes from basically is because when dealing with binary these things this is just the way the binary numbering system works binary uses a place value system okay so in reality, your binary for 8 bits is going to look like this, going from the other way. It's going to be 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. I don't think I have any mistakes in there. Let me know if I do, of course. Um, so for every value in binary, you have a number that represents a zero or a one that represents that number. So if you had the number um, 64 on a piece of 
if you type the number 64 or when you see a calculator you get 64 the calculator or the computer doesn't see 64 what the computer sees is a string of eight binary digits or eight bits and what it looks like is zero for the 128 because there are no 128 values in 64 now there is a 64 in 64 so you would have a one the next are there any 32s no no 16s no eights no fours no twos no ones so in binary the number 64 will come out zero one zero 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 that's basically what you're going to get when you type in binary now if you were to have the number let's say um six it would be zero for one twenty eight zero for sixty four zero for thirty two zero for sixteen zero for eight one for four one for two and zero for one and that would be the number six in binary because four plus two is six as we all know okay now that we understand that I'm gonna try and go real quick and I'll explain to you how to convert from bytes to bits so if you have 56 bytes we know that there are eight bits in a byte so all you would need to do is go to your handy calculator and do 56 times 8 so 56 times 8 is 448 so 56 times 8 56 bytes of information times 8 bits of information will equal 448 bits of information now the same thing works with kilobytes if this was kilobytes real quick just give you guys a brief understanding of this if I had 56 kilobytes and um, I multiplied that by 8 bits I will get 448 bits of information or 448 kilobits of information so that will be 448 kilobits of information now listen to this if you want to get how many actual bits there are and you don't want kilobits because the binary numbering system is not going to be 448,000 so you're not going to get that many bits from from that that's not how it works the way it's basically going to work is if you take that 448 and you multiply that by the number of kilobytes or the number of bytes in a kilobyte which is 124 you would get 1024 did I do that right 448 times 1024 equals there it goes that's the number I was looking for 458752 so this is the number of um, kilobits that we would have if we multiply that by the number of bytes in a kilobyte um, we would get this number right here which is the number of bits so if you want to go in the opposite direction guys all you have to do is divide it if I want to know how many bytes were in 448 bits all I have to do is divide it 448 divided by 8 equals 56 so that's 56 bytes of information real quick um, if you guys want to know your internet connection speed so you have a 30 megabit connection you can just take that 30 and divide that by 8 30 divided by 8 equals 3.75 